Hello. So I want to talk about the iMerge precipitation extractor and um, what precipitation brands I'm using for this uh, web application I'm developing. And here I'm just going to show you real quick. So I'm using the global daily, uh, the global precision measurement, the GPM daily products. And we can always uh, see more about the, the data set here. So uh basically for the bands i'm using the calibrated precipitation we also have other bands we have the microwave brand and we have the uncalibrated brand for the calibrated band it's millimeter per hour so i need to convert this uh, because the imrg is 30 minute data right but they reported every millimeter per hour so i need to convert those band to um limited uh, to half hour and i'm going to do that in the code there and more than we have other information like terms of use and uh, description of the data set and current documentation changes which is important for uh, users to explore there and then for the data set itself um basically just going to call in this er uh, imerge uh, gpm um, image collection and then i'm going to import it and uh, select the bands and uh, start and end the uh, variables the global variables we have declared earlier i'm going to talk about it later uh, basically, the user is going to define the start and end date. So you have the, the liberty to choose your own date, and, uh, the start and end date, and then you can digitize your your area. Uh, we're going to talk about it later on. Uh, well, what I want to point out here is that the, uh, like I said, we convert that uh, meter, meter per hour into uh, meter, meter per half hour, right? So we did that in the code, and simply by uh, for every image, we use this function that kind of uh, slice divided by two, and then we can return the properties, and that is what we have done here. So now we know that uh, every 30 minutes I'm image here we have is a 30 minute image and not an hour. So what do we do next? So what we do next here, uh, we have a function that kind of um, takes in that uh, image 30 minutes, and then what it does is to kind of um, um, resample the data, right? When we sample the data, come to the sequence, and then we can basically take the uh, sort them by hourly, and then uh, yeah, and then we can sum the, uh, the the cumulative for every one hour, and then uh, map them by property. And uh, let me load the app, so let me show you um, how this resample into longer duration is done. So basically, uh, what I'm trying to do here is to um, talk about the capability of these two that we can chart at long shorter duration and then we can also uh, chart our data at longer duration so i'm gonna just leave it as it is we have from uh can say 15th of april to 15th of may uh, and then because of my time zone at this time so if i chart this area i need to draw a study area uh basically i can change the map type into uh the basic map and i want to just uh probably digitize my own area, right? I can just uh, do that. I'm gonna pick the, um, what country am I gonna pick? Uh, let me pick uh, Nigeria. I think it's really interesting. I pick Nigeria real quick. And um, you can make it as clean as possible. And uh, if you wanna get a guide, uh, I will show you how you can do that. Because we also have the, the shape file for the uh, countries outline. They can lead you to import your outline so I can uh, I can do that earlier, uh, just um, throw the outline, and that is what I should have done actually. And then, um, uh, let's see, yeah, so users should have been able to um, use the country outline. Uh, we have that, but that's fine. So, if I don't want that, I can always just uh, pick this polygon. So, once I pick the polygon, I'm gonna delete the other ones. And, um, uh, okay, this is not fully covering my area. I'm gonna Try it again. Uh, let me see. I think I think I'm okay with this area. All right. So at this point, I have part of Cameroon. That's fine. But I can always digitize in detail the um, outline of the country I want or the watershed I want. So we have the watersheds uh, I mentioned earlier. So you can use that. And now I want to chart the 30 minute uh, precipitation from the 15th of April to 15th of May. And so I'm just gonna click here. And what it does for us is to tell me that oh, okay, I have the area is is processed. The area being processed is over um, 552,000 uh, square mile, right? So we have. Tell me, this is the area you're being processed, 
and uh, this is a 30 minute precipitation of course Nigeria is along the tropical um, the tropical axis so we can see uh, we have high precipitation in those areas and the map here is the average right the average uh, 30 minutes precipitation for the time durations right and then the chart we have is the time series um, precipitation and the average 30 minute precipitation for the entire area uh, okay, so what I want to show you is that um, so yeah, so we have this longer area. So I'm I'm going to try to uh, uh, let a resample to longer duration of one hour. So basically, what it does is to clear out the memory of the 30 minutes, right? So kind of set the sequence again and resample for every one hour, and then we can keep doing that, um, keep doing that, letting the uh, the program to resample to two hours to three hours to six hours to 12 hours so this is a quick way you can just grab the precipitation for the duration you want you don't need to uh, worry about converting the testimony into longer duration the program does it for you the app does it for you all you need to do is to hit the extraction button and then you can when you hit the extraction button you can download it as a csv and then you can use it for your analysis and then um yeah and you can also download the png and use it for your, and use it for your for your map or for your for your work there so yeah you can also download this image and uh, i'm going to cover cover this uh in the next couple of um uh, talk there and uh, subsequently i just want to draw your attention that this app can let you uh, extract the 830 minutes precipitation or it can help you uh, get the, 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 the precipitation for longer duration for up to one week and then when we do that, then you, you basically it's going to give it the cumulative, and that's important to mention that what you get out of this arm is uh, cumulative for those longer duration, right? Using the uh, the time property there. Thanks.